Hi, this is Paul J. Adam, and this is a screencast demonstration video to show how to use VoiceOver in iOS 7 to test data tables for accessibility. So the example I have displayed is from Freedom Scientific, the makers of JAWS, and it's titled HTML Tables with JAWS and Magic. Um, so this tells you basically how to use data tables with JAWS um, and we're going to use it with a voiceover instead and see how you can test for accessibility and talk about some of the differences between JAWS as well. Voiceover on. HTML tables with JAWS and MAGIC. Heading level one. Okay, so I've enabled voiceover and first thing I'll do is switch to the table setting in the rotor so I can navigate by tables. Language. Character, words, lines, speech rate, container, headings, links, form control, tables, eight tables. Okay, so VoiceOver is telling me there are eight tables. Now I can swipe up or down to cycle through the tables. A table that has the name of the network down the left side and the show times across the top. This is table one. 8.30 p.m. ABC. 8 p.m. Table start. So the text that you heard when it said a table that has blah, 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 that is the summary attribute being read by voiceover as you enter the table. A table that has the show times across the top but no row headers. This is table 2. 8 p.m. Table start. So again, the summary attribute is read. Um, so now let's go back to the first table and see how we navigate within the cells. A table that has the name of the net. In the second table, the other used table headers were only the first row. The station network names have been omitted from column one. A table that has the name of the net. 9 p.m. 8.30 p.m. Okay, so when you're inside a data table, to go like down a column, um, cell by cell, if I want to go down, I have to first switch to the rotor to the vertical navigation setting. Lists. Landmarks, buttons, images, vert, navigation. So vert navigation. And now when I swipe down, I actually go down. CBS, better off Ted, Fox, Gary unmarried. And then when I swipe right or left, I go um, column by column through the row. 9.30 p.m. Criminal Minds, 10.30 p.m. CSI, NY. Okay, so there is definitely a bug here with voiceover. Um, as we swipe up or down the cells, we're hearing the wrong row or column headers. Watch when I swipe up. CBS, the unusuals. It's telling me I'm in the CBS row. And when I swipe left. 9.30 p.m. Lost. It's reading 9.30 p.m. as the column header rather than 9 p.m. The reason is a bug in voiceover and it's that the very first cell in this data table is a, an empty cell. Um, it has no information there, like not even a non-breaking space. So because of that, VoiceOver thinks we're in the wrong cell. Now this is just a bug specific to VoiceOver, but something you have to be aware of. You can fix it by actually filling in some data in that very first empty cell. So let's go to the next table. A table that has the show times of page 4 of 9, 9 p.m. Criminal Minds. Okay, um, let's see here. Lost. Selected. Table. A table that has page 3 of 9. 8 p.m. 9, 10, 10. Scrubs. 8, 3, 9, 10, 8 p.m. The New Adventures of Old Christine. So, um, here we don't have any blank cells. So you see, um, it only has column headers, but it gets the column header correct every time we swipe. 8.30 p.m. Gary unmarried, 9 p.m., Criminal Minds, 10 p.m., CSI, NY. So that is correct. The Unusuals. And there is no row header, so we don't hear it announce one. Page 4 of 9. A table that has the name of the network down the left side and the show times across the top. This table is not marked up with table header data. This is Table 3. Criminal Minds, CSI, NY. Fox 5 News at 10. So this table has no semantics at all, no row or column headers. So as we cycle through the cells, we don't hear that information. Page 5 of 9. 
Page 6 of 9. Page 7 of 9. A table that has the average high temperature, low temperature, and gulf water temperature across the top in the months of the year down the left-hand side for the St. Petersburg area. May, 67 degrees. Gulf water temperature, June, 82 degrees. So, um, one thing that's different when I um, specifically tap on an individual cell, I hear both the row and the column header. Higher temperature, August, 90 degrees. And that's exactly what you want. This table right here is the nicest design table for voiceover. It's simple, there's no blank cells, and there's no room for voiceover to make any mistakes. Low air temperature, set gulf water temperature, 86 degrees July, 84 degrees June, 82 degrees May, 79 degrees. So as you cycle up through, a, through the rows in a column or across through the columns in a row, you only hear either the row header or the column header, um, but then that's when you swipe up or down. But if you actually set focus somewhere else, then you hear both of them. Low air temperature, September, 73 degrees. Page 8 of 9. Now this is a complex table. Listing of sales contacts by state. The region is in column 1 and the company name is in column 2. More information about each company is located in columns 3 through 8. Web access group, AZ. Next, greater than, greater than. Web access group, accessible world, San Francisco. Address, 5, city, state, C, phone number, products, software, Midwest, software, Independence Day Compute, Midwest, software, braille displays, embossers. So since this is a complex table, it has two row headers and voiceover um, sometimes will say the first row header and then sometimes it will say the second row header. Um, but it, it's not always going to get it correct, as we see in this demo. Address, West, 5238. And it won't, it does not announce both row headers. Page 9 of 9. Page 9 of 9. Okay, well that is a demonstration of data table accessibility testing with VoiceOver and iOS 7. Thanks for watching.